Welcome back to another. God, I'm looking at the fucking viewfinder, man. Okay. Welcome back to another Arm with Knowledge review. Today, we're doing the Mantis Blackbeard X. This is their newest product as of the release of this video. I'm actually looking forward to this one because this is a combination of two products that we already like. So I'm pretty hopeful about this one. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna see what's inside this thing. What's in the box? And then we're gonna figure out what we do and don't like about it. Come on. All right, can we focus? All right, so what do we got in here? We're gonna slide on in here. Open this box up. It should be pretty simple, just like the other products that we've had from theirs. Um, nice case, everything fits in. Yep. All right, so this is your bolt carrier assembly replacement. And this is the battery pack that fits in the magazine well. What else we got? We have a charging cable and a sticker. We like stickers. And then this is your instruction guide and the Mantis Laser Academy download. Cool, too easy. So <clears throat> let's talk about what the Blackbeard X is. The original Blackbeard is a laser training device that we use in our AR-15s. It constantly resets your trigger every time you fire, as long as there's juice in the battery. Puts a laser on target for you. You can run different drills with the Laser Training Academy if you want to, or move around your house, see where you're hitting. The X10, we did a review on this before. This little device, we mostly use it on handguns. This gives you a ton of information from your movement to before, during, and after your trigger press. Mantis took both of these two products and put them together. The first thing that you should notice on this battery pack is that it's the 30 round length instead of the original 20 round length. And it's gonna have a button and a light on it because it is Bluetooth enabled. Now let's see how this thing works. All right, to get started, we're gonna do a single pin takedown on our AR-15. We'll shotgun it, per se. Remove your bolt carrier assembly group and your charging handle, and then put in your Blackbeard replacement. Put it back together, assembled. Then we're gonna put in the power bank. When you click it in, you're gonna hear it activate. One of the first things you might wanna do is zero the Blackbeard laser to whatever optic you're using. One thing we didn't catch in that little bag with the cool little sticker, there's also an Allen wrench in there. We're gonna use the Allen wrench and there's a switch right about in the middle that where you can access the Blackbeard through your ejection port. You're gonna go ahead and take that switch and move it down and that turns the laser to steady on. Then you have two holes towards the front of that. One of them on the bottom has like brass around it, has a brass ring around it. When you use the Allen wrench in there, that's gonna change your windage. When the hole above that, use the Allen wrench, it's gonna change your elevation. Now on mine, I'm not able to line mine up with my optic. I'm catching some flare. I don't know if you can see that in the camera right there, but it's, I, I've taken the suppressor off. It's not bouncing off any of the, anything in the suppressor. Now, if I was, maybe 10 yards away, I'm sure that the side of a board, you know, laser to laser, laser to, to red dot, I'm sure it'll line up a lot easier, but within this room, I'm not able to line it up. I'll show you my sights being lined up on the X is right here. So my windage is pretty good, but on that elevation is just gonna be a little bit off. We'll go ahead, turn this off. One thing I think it's fair to mention is that if you already have the Blackbeard system at home, all you have to do is go on the website at blackbeardx.com and order the Blackbeard X power bank. I'll show you how to do that right here. You're gonna go to the Mantis website, mantisx.com, click on the search, type in power bank, click on Blackbeard power bank. Now go down to style 
and choose the Blackbeard X AR15 30 round size and add to cart. Now it's still <clears throat> going to show you a picture of the 20 round size original Blackbeard, but as long as it says Blackbeard X AR15 30 round size, you should be good to go. So you can do that, or they even have a trade-in program that you can find on the website as well. All right, so now let's hook this thing up to the app and see what it can do here. So we're gonna open up the app. All right, we're gonna push this button on the power bank. That blue light comes on. Click connect, scanning, connecting. There we go. All right, so we're gonna click on this first one, BBX Dynamics. It's gonna ask us to double check that everything's clear. And then set the gun down to calibrate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna engage the four targets that I have here behind me, one to two to three to four. And then I'm gonna show you all the data that this thing collects and, and uh, all the information that you can get out of this thing. So when we hit start on here, it's gonna give me a time buzzer. And then in the bottom right, we got a button that says stop. We'll click that. And I got an overall score of 90. And you can see action score and time underneath that. Uh, action is, you know, all four shots that we took. And the score that it gives you is based on what we're looking at is efficiency right now. So the very first one I got a little trophy next to it, that's my highest score. And then when you look at time, your fastest time is gonna have a little fireball thing next to it right there. So our fastest time was number four, my highest score was number one. And then your the overall time is 4.46. Now above that, top left, there's a little blue line underneath efficiency. That's what we're looking at right now. If you click on transition to the right, now it's gonna change and show you your transition score. Your transition score is based on how straight your line is from one to two, two to three, and so on. The, for, the further off you are from that straight line, the lower your score is gonna be. And then we'll look at over travel. On this one, we got 100, 188. I'm gonna be honest with you, just straightforward with you. When I first started using this app, those weren't hundreds. I wasn't really paying attention to over travel before this. The only over travel I ever knew is when you're moving from position to position before an engagement and over traveling and having to bounce back instead of slowing to that stop. It's the same thing moving from target to target. And this is showing me a lot of over travel that I had before that, I, that I'm fixing. And you can see it right here. Over travel is when you're moving from one target to the next and you're moving too fast and have to come back to the target before the engagement. Then delay. Delay is how long it takes you to get that shot off once you're on target. And on here, again, these scores are better than when I first started using this app. I've, I'm already seeing an improvement on this thing. All right, so we're gonna swipe from right to left, just like this. And now you're gonna see each one of these engagements in real time when you click from one to two, it's gonna show you I can already tell that that, that transition is gonna be, be a little bit off. Two to three, that's huge, huge transition uh, blemish right there. And then three to four, three to four is not as bad, but I did have some over travel. Now underneath the numbers here, you're gonna see it says delay in orange. If you click on that, it'll start you over at where you're at with efficiency. Click on it again, we're at transition. Now we'll start at two. Transition from one to two, you can see that's what I was talking about. That dotted straight line is a straight line from point A to B and how far I came off of that line, which is why I got the score in the bottom there, you see 81.2. Then to three, came way off. It went, started just underneath it, went way over the top of it and down onto the target. That's why I got a 66.7. And then on four, they said I can tell watching that when it wasn't so bad, started just over, ended just under, not bad. And then again for uh, over travel. Now we're looking at this. My over travel, I believe, probably was the worst on that. Yeah. Now let's do, we're going to go back 
to underneath BBX Dynamics, you're going to see transitions. There's all kinds of drills that you can do with transitions right here. The one we're going to do is called the box drill. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take just these two targets, one and two, and we're going to engage two shots at center mass, two shots at center mass on two, headshot on two, headshot on one, and then see what kind of data we have on that. So here we go. Got an 84.8 overall score. And then see, we're already over on over travel here. All right. Efficiency 84.8. It looks like my lowest score is that very first one. I get this a lot, honestly, in, in some of these drills. Um, I get that low, low score. And I think uh what it was it's the delay. I think we're gonna see that as we look through this, we'll probably see that. I'm on target, it takes me too long to get that first shot off. And I mean, at a 39 score, I must have been sitting on that target a lot longer than I thought. And then we'll move over to transition, 88, 93 and 90. Obviously you're only gonna have three scores on that with the movements that we were making here. And then over travel, over travel's not bad, not bad. I'm, I'm man, that's, that's something that I'm actually really excited to work on uh, that this app is showing me, that, that this whole product is showing me here. And then delay, yeah, that's where it is. Number one, 39, at uh, 1.38 seconds to take that first shot. So we go swipe right to left, and let's watch this real quick. So this is, so I'll hit this play button just above the one, and we can watch all this crazy amount of time I took to get that shot off. And then from one to two, bam, right in there. That's not bad. Let's see what we have here, yeah. And then over to target two. See where we're at with the transition on that one. And then how long was my delay on that? Not bad. The second one, man, it, was, it went right off there. Well, that was that was the highest score that I got on that one too. Man, that um, that transition looked pretty crazy there. So here's here's an example of. It zoomed in on it, it looked like that transition was way off. That's just how sensitive this thing is and how much how much it's taking in, how much data it's taking in. So you can see, here we go with this zooming in thing here. It looks like they didn't fix this. We had this issue before with the last app. I'm trying to zoom in on this thing. All right, so zooming in from center mass to the head, it looks like it came way off, but it still is giving me a pretty good transition score here. And then, yeah, that one's not bad, but it looks it looks pretty crazy right here. I'm not going to do that again. I did notice using this one thing, another thing that I have improved on was my my lateral movements were were pretty straight. My transitions were pretty straight lines starting off. They weren't that bad. My diagonal movements were real sloppy. Real had a big arch to it, under and over arch for some reason. I was making these almost an S curve. Um, no matter which angle I was going to, I was making it. So this actually gave me something there to work on. I've been using this Blackbeard X for about a week now, pretty consistently. And I am seeing a noticeable difference in engaging multiple targets, my speed, and what looks like accuracy as well, but especially in my speed. When I first put all this together and ran through the targets pretty quickly, was getting a pretty bad score in my efficiency transition. When I started actually looking at the data that this was giving me, I slowed down, focused on straight lines, focused on being on the target and, and engaging right away, and picked my speed back up and moving a lot faster than I was when I first started with this thing. So what do we think about this thing? I, I love this thing. I'm blown away. You don't have to use specific targets of any kind at all you can just move through your house you can shoot at whatever you want to in the room and pick up the same amount of data you don't need targets or no targets within this small room like i said i'm not able to zero this it's not a small room but within a room i'm not able to zero the laser to the optic that i'm using oh it's way off what is this the optic is just, it's sitting too high. 
The other thing is this damn zooming in and out <laughs> on these spider cuffs, man. Ha! I just, it's not, it's not working for me. But other than that, you have your rifle that you're training with, your setup, your trigger. In the end, I definitely recommend this product. It just makes sense, I mean, the data that you get from this, the things that I get to work on now for, for improvements, I'm, I'm really excited about this product and I'm, I'm blown away. This is awesome. Listen, if you like this video, let us know in the comments what you liked about it. If you didn't like this video, come on, tell me about it, man. If you want to see more about what we're doing, we got a lot more stuff coming here in the near future. If you guys are interested in following along with us, hit that subscribe button, notification button, like this video. It does us good. Thank you guys for watching. Love y'all. See you next time. It's a beautiful device. So what it seems like they did, what the f It's a beautiful device. You got it. You got it? You got it. I don't know where these other words come from that I'm not thinking about. I don't know where this is coming from or why this is happening, but it's happening.